Hi, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play the theme from the Interstellar movie. So it's really easy. Uh, just four chords, I think four or five chords. Same chord progression for the entire for the entire arrangement, pretty much. And I'm putting up a cable on the second fret. And that's all that's required. It's in standard tuning. Okay, let's get right into it. This part might be a little confusing as to how many times you're supposed to do it. So this this song is in a count of three, three, three beats per measure. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So on the first one, two, three, one, two, three. So the first count, you know, I'm giving it uh, the accent of the first count. So you're gonna play with your middle finger that note, open note on the first string a little, a little harder. So it's, it's gonna, you can count it in your head. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, you're gonna do it a total of four times. Open on the first string and first fret on the second string. One, two, three. So that's one. Okay, one. Four into three, total of 12 times you're playing open on the first string and first fret on the second string. And then you start with the next part. Okay, so what's happening over here is you're on A minor, open on the fifth string, and for now we're picking the second fret on the third string. Then open and open on the first string. Okay, so this particular string, the first string is played open uh, for pretty much the, the entire arrangement. Okay, even if you look at the, the piano version that's out there, you know, you can check out that one key, this key, on the piano is just being repeatedly being tapped again and again and again. Okay, so two times. Second fret on third string, open on fifth string together, and open and open on the first string. And this time you have open on the second string and open on the fifth string. Now after that, instead of this, we do, okay, we change that to the third fret on the second string. So that's open on the first string and third fret on the second string. Now this is up to you as to how many times you really want to do this. You know, it's, it's really up to you. I don't think I remember exactly correctly how many times I did it. five or six times the idea is this is not the main melody this is just the background the main the melody is this and then this okay so you want to emphasize those notes more by picking them harder and you don't have to play this you know, very loudly because that's not the main melody that's just a background part that's going on okay so from the way start Harder when you start the melody. Then open, and then this, and then you come back to the melody. Okay, that's what's happening over here. So let's see what's what we're playing. Second fret on third string. Open on the fifth string together. And then open on the second string. One on second string, open on second string again. So after that, so that's going to be again second fret on third string, open on fifth string together, then open on the second string and first fret on second string. that those background notes this time it's open on the first string and first fret on the second string okay so from the starting for the main melody okay and 
continuing the melody, open on the second string and open on the fifth string. And then you come back to this. Okay, so that's what we've learned so far. Let's repeat all of that again. First, this is the intro. Then let's go straight to the main melody. continuing with the melody and it now it goes like this so instead of this you add that extra note open on the first string so it's gonna go like this that's the extra note everything else is the same okay so second fret on third string open on fifth string together then open on first string, one and open on the second string, and then second fret on third string with open on fifth string, and open on second string and first fret on the second string. Then you come back to the background notes, open on first string, first fret on second string two times. Then you come back over here. Okay, so let's open on 2nd and 5th string together and then the back background notes on the 3rd fret this time of the 2nd string. So all in all, let's start from the very beginning, the main melody. This part one more time this particular part from here that extra note this part right all over again you can actually do this uh, however number of times you want to do it one more time if you want we're just gonna end this intro like this instead of going back to this we go third fret on the second string and open on the fifth string together. So in the very end, what's going to happen is you're going to play. Now instead of open and open on the second and fifth string, you need to play third fret on the fourth, on the second string, open on fifth string. Those background notes and then so this is open on top string and first string and this is actually the same note obviously fifth fifth fret of the second string which is just the same note as your open on the first string so just to emphasize those all those notes together you know we're we're playing that that as well okay so if you want you can leave that you can just play that so this intro that we just learned is going to be played right in the very end as well okay so if you heard the entire arrangement this is how we started and this is also how we end the arrangement okay so we've got that covered now let's see how to play the next part and let's get right into it if you're looking for tabs if you're looking for a playthrough video with tabs on screen you can check out the link down in the description box below okay so the next part is going to go like this Once again, so we're still on A minor, and then we come to E minor chord shape. So second fret on third string, open on fifth string, play it together. Then open and one on the second string, 
and the next time so you start again by again doing open on fifth string second fret on third string together open on second string now here you do a pull off from one to open on the second string and the second fret again on third string so and then Next time, so here what you're doing is open on the top string and zero to do hammer on on the third on the third string, then open on second string, then open on third string, and then so that's again open on top string and second string together. Pull off from two to open on third string, then open on second string. So all in all, next. Once again. So that's open on fifth string, second fret on third string together. Then one, zero, three, one, zero on the second string. One, zero, three, one, zero. And second fret on third string, back to open on second string. again after that so this time instead of this is what we did previously now you have okay so there's a little change on the second string you again starting out by doing second fret on third string open on fifth string together then on the second string, it's one, zero, three, one, three, one, zero. So, and then, so this is the sh this is the same on the top string open that we did last time. to do hammer on on the third string with open on top string open on second string third string second string and top string together pull off and back to open on the second string so this can be a little confusing I'm gonna play it all over again So first part and after that and then and this is the same okay so this is a complete segment and you're basically just repeating this all over again okay so just all over again and I think you know this the next time when I'm repeating this whole segment there's just a little change that I make in the very start instead of you can do because this is completely my own improvisation because uh, th this this song is you know the soundtrack of the song is uh, it's very vague. It's not a particular piano note that you can clearly hear. So you have to make your own improvisations in this song. It's very different to some of the other, you know, soundtracks um, that that are there. So. Just 
repeat the whole part, whole segment one more time. Now the next segment is quite easy. So you can see the right hand, the picking pattern is almost the same we're doing. I'm just changing the chords in the left hand. Keep the A minor shape on. Okay, so A minor chord. Let me show you the picking pattern over here, second string and fifth string together, third string, fourth string, and second string, third string and fourth string again. So, and second fret on, third, on the fourth string and open on third string. That's a transition to the next chord. So. that okay similar strum pattern picking pattern sorry just changing the bass note to top string open okay so all open open on top string open on second string open on third string and second fret on the fourth string it's taken from this E minor shape over here so one more time then open on second and third strings so A minor shape shape back to a minor shape okay same picking pattern and over here go to your e minor 7 shape you have second frets on fifth and fourth strings and third fret on the second string okay so same picking pattern as on a minor because the bass note is still on the on the fifth string fifth string and second string pick together third string fourth string okay then second string third string fourth string and then second string so a minor e minor shape back to a minor e minor seven okay repeat the segment all over again just make a little change over here Instead of going back to A minor, you can switch over to C major chord. You know, you can emphasize it. Just go a little slow on this chord, so that's how you can, you know, make it a little more uh, deep. Because you're emphasizing that bass note. So same picking pattern as we do on A minor. Just the chord shape has been changed to C major chord. And you go back to E minor 7. So that's your whole segment. Back to A minor. Repeat again. C. In the very end. So what we're doing over here is open on second string, first fret, third fret, then open on top two on the first string and the top string. And just picking then after that the first string. Exactly what's going on in the in the piano. And then you come with the main, like you can say the main melody of this of this uh, soundtrack. song which is pretty easy to play this one right it's just a simple chord progression of four four chords so let's see what's happening over here on the in the main melody of the song okay some people like to start the arrangement like this and if you wanted to shorten the cover you can just start out like this okay so as you can see 
comes to F shape over here. So we're just taking two notes over here. First fret on the top string, second fret on the third string. Play them together, then open on the first string. Once again, then open on second string and top string together. Open on first string, once again. A minor, open on the fifth string, first fret on second string together. Open on the first string, once again. G, third fret on the top string and second string together, open on first string, once again, then after that you can play open on the second string, okay, so, After that what I do is, I'm playing the same melody, just playing more bass notes over here, okay? So let me show you the right hand. Because it's, this is more about the right hand, not much about, about the left hand. You're still holding on to the same, same chord shapes. Okay, first fret on the top string, second fret on the fifth, on the third string. So let's see what's happening over here. You're picking sixth string and third string together. Then you pick open on the first string. Then you do. So this is six, three, six, three, six. Okay, so six three six three six one. In the very end, you do once again six three six. So After that, open on second string and open on top string, open on the first string, then it's just that the second fret on the fifth string has been replaced by open on the second string. Okay, that's the only thing happening, nothing else is changing. to pause and rewind maybe you can slow down the video in the playback playback speed over here uh, in the YouTube setting so once again now I'm gonna be completely honest with you this is really hard to explain because I myself get it confused while explaining what strings I'm picking so you're gonna have to really watch my hand over here just the right hand don't worry about the left hand at all you're gonna have to uh, slow down the video or pause the video and, and look at this picking pattern really carefully. You come to A minor. Okay, so this A minor picking pattern, this these are all all of these picking patterns are the same. It's that that that, that melody note keeps on changing. So it went from second fret on the third string. To open on second string to one on the second string. That's the melody. Open one and then three. And you know the bass notes for each of them. First one was first on the top string, then open on the top string, then A minor over here, then G over here. So that's just the melody notes and the bass notes they keep changing. This is the same. So let's start from the very beginning. Now the next segment, it's going to go like this. So 
So again, you can notice a particular pattern that's going on. We're playing these first two strings together for all four chords. So A minor, oh sorry, F over here. First fret on top string, second fret on third string, first fret on second string. You're going to first pick top string and third string together. Okay, then you have open on first string, first fret on second string. You're going to pick them together three times. Okay. So after you do that pattern, you're going to play these two play these two notes separately. Top string and second string and third string. Okay. Once again. Now for the E minor, it's gonna be so that's same right hand, the, the, all the open notes over here, top string, second string together. Then like I said before, first two strings together three times, one, two, three, and then two notes separately, the top string and the second and the third string. So the start for this segment one more time now for a minor okay so open on fifth string first fret on second string together and that same thing three times Open on fifth string, second fret on third string. Play it separately. So repeat that again. And last time, three and three on the top string and second string. You pick these two notes together. And then same thing. Open on the first string and that third fret melody note. On the second string three times one two three then playing these two notes separately third string on top top third fret on top string and open on third string so once again okay so that becomes your segment now the next part that I've played in, in the arrangement in the demo I played like this now you can play this entire thing over here as well find this a bit more easier uh, than going over here on these two strings right but the reason why I'm moving over here is to get to that harmonic in the very end okay so if, if you stay over here it's, it's really hard to get over there to that harmonic on the 12th fret and you have to play it right after you play this note you know so that's the reason why I do this over here so if you want to leave that harmonic out then you can play this over here in this position otherwise so let's see what's happening over here. You have fifth fret on the third string, and the bass note is always open on the fifth string. Okay, so that doesn't change at all. So when I say the bass note, it means open on the fifth string. That's the bass note. So you play the bass note and fifth fret on the third string together. Then play seventh fret on the fourth string. So one, two. So on the second count, I played this again that third string and fourth string so one two three three counts over here so one two three and the first count you're playing the bass note so first count with the bass note one two three okay and you repeat that all over again so it becomes a total of six times one two three one two three and the first count is that bass note being played now you change this entire shape over here and bring it over two frets above okay so two frets higher you go to seventh fret on the third string ninth fret on the fourth string and do the same picking pattern on the right hand one two three right so one two three one two three one 
count means the third string and the fourth string okay when i go higher up the next shape which will be ninth fret on the third string and tenth fret on the fourth string same right hand again one two three one two three you go come back to the previous shape where you had seven and nine and that completes your riff so one two three one two three Thing can be played over here. So let me explain the frets alternatives over here. This was five and seven becomes one and two on the second and third string. Okay, you can actually make that out on your own. The next one becomes three and four, second and third strings. The next one becomes five and five, and the bass note remains the same. Everything else remains the same. Okay, you're gonna have to change the picking pattern as well. So we're doing it over here because we want to get to that harmonic in the end. Okay, repeat that all over again. You can also do that slide, you can also slide. Here, the second time, you, you don't come back to the middle position, okay? You stay at this ninth and 10th fret on the third string and fourth string, and you're gonna have to play it over and over again. So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. total of four counts. If you, one, two, three, this is one. Because you're not going back over there, so you're going to uh, play those bars over here itself, okay? Four. After completing those four bars, you're going to play that harmonic, which is simply nothing but natural harmonic on the 12th fret over here, where you just keep your finger, if you don't know how to perform the harmonic, you're just going to keep your finger, touch that on the string, okay, over here on the fret wire, on the 12th fret, you're just going to touch your finger all over the string. Don't press it, okay? Just gonna keep it there, lightly touch it, and then when you pick it, you get that harmonic. Now the next part, we're going to continue with the same melody. But it's just that we're going to add percussion now. Right? So let's see what's happening over here. First of all, we're doing the thumb slap and we're doing the percussion tap over here, right? Where we use our wrist to tap the body of the guitar like this. That's what's happening. So, picking the chord over here, F, first fret on the top string, third fret on the fifth, on the fourth string and the second fret on the third string. Picking them together, three notes. And while picking them, I'm doing that that wrist thumb over here, right? So when I say the wrist, it means that you have to tap the wrist over here. So with the wrist, play all these three notes. Again, if you can't do that, just leave out the wrist. You can just do the thumb slaps if you don't wanna involve the wrist, it's completely fine. Then open on the first string, and then first fret on the top string, third fret on the fourth string, so. like that one skin because right after picking that third fret on the fourth string you have to do the thumb slap slap and strum actually where you're slapping the string slapping the top string with the help of your thumb and along with that you basically strumming with the help of your middle finger these two notes the same notes if you were picking on the fourth and third strings like that right so After that, open on the first string. Alright, now there's 
this one extra beat that you can add uh, right after doing the thumb slap you can add that wrist once again and then play it open on the first string so that's gonna sound like this All right once again I have to remember this pattern because it's very similar for, for all the four shapes right we're just keep, gonna keep uh, changing the melody notes and the bass notes as you know as we've been doing for uh, the, throughout the arrangement okay so next time open on top string open on second string together everything is open actually over here so everything is open open on top string second string together with the wrist open on the first string and quickly open on top string third fret on the third string so then you do the slap and strum here you're picking open on second and third strings then open on the first string so so as you can see you know the picking pattern on the right hand is pretty similar over F we were doing then we were picking these two notes separately right after that we were doing the slap and strum then we were playing that melody note on the first string then because the chord changes the melody note changes over here this remains the same and again those two individual notes right for E for E minor these are all open then that slap and strum then that again op open on the first string then A minor right so here again this is uh, pretty similar you got you got open on the fifth string first spread on second string together you can add the wrist if you want open on the first string these two notes separately, open on fifth string, second on third string, do the slap and strum, then play that open on first string again. Then for G, third fret on top string and second string together. You can have the wrist as well. Open on the first string, third fret on top string, open on third string together. Right after that, do the slap and strum, open on third string, third fret on second string. Right? I kind of mute my first string with the help of my little finger. And I just using the flesh of the little finger, this part, to just rest over the first string so that you know you can't really hear it while doing the, the slap. Because that's gonna look really ugly if, if you don't do that. Because you want to hear that that melody note. Then open again on the first string. Okay, so that's the chord progression. Next, A minor. Then G. Right after that, you can do open on second and third strings together. That's can the transition repeating this entire segment all over again right just going back all over again so playing that thing all over again For the next segment now the next section is also something that we've already learned but without the percussion if you remember this part right we've already learned this part so we're just going to add percussion to this part so let's see what's happening over here Let's see what's going on. 
picking three notes together. Same three notes that we picked uh, during the last segment. Top string, third string, and fourth string on the F. And the same, one, two, three, three times. I don't, I don't think I have to show this to you again because we've already done this. I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna tell you where the percussion part is. One, two, three, then first fret and third fret on the top string and fourth string. thumb to the slap and strum the slap we did in the last segment on the exact same notes there's nothing changing over here just that this part is changing do this three times okay so after that slap and strum you again do one two three three times first fret on second string open on first string together so all in all these two notes separately the thumb slap again so in the very end you're going to play first fret again and third fret again okay so then change it to the next chord right open on top string second fret open together first two strings together one two three top string and third string together so and do the slap and strum then again one two three and same thing right so come on a minor right so Second string first fret open on fifth string together. Do one, two, three, just like we did last time. You're going to play those two notes separately, fifth string and third string. Do the thumb slap, slap and strum. And again that one, two, three. And play those notes separately again. So all in all. See what's happening over here top string and second string together third fret then one two three then separately top string and third string open and do the thumb slap slap and strum three times again separately again so So that completes your segment. Let's play it all over again. Okay. Now it's up to completely up to you how many times you want to play this segment, whether you want to mix it up and play. on this part in the first segment which was the previous part that we learned and the second time you can go straight over here right or you want to repeat that previous segment two times and then this one by itself two times if it, that's completely up to you as to how you want to organize your arrangement okay now after that you come to the next part that we have to learn if you remember this part over here that you can also play over here We played this part in this position because we wanted to get hold of that harmonic. We don't need it now, so we're just going to play it over here. So this is how it's going to go. And after that, I'm going to teach you. Okay, let's see what's happening. Let's learn that first once again. So first fret on second string, open on fifth string together. Second fret on third string, open on first string, then 
second fret on third string, first fret on second string, third, second fret on third string again. Next time, you're just going to start with a slap and strum. You're strumming on these two strings, and everything else remains the same. So instead of this, instead of this, you do. So all in all, repeat that with just that on the first count. You do that slap and strum. Everything else is the same. both together and that's all that's happening with the right hand so now it's just the notes will keep changing you're just going to change that chord shape to the next shape which is going to be third fret on the second string and fourth fret on the third string right hand will remain completely the same same picking pattern okay so I hope I'm not confusing you because all we've done is change this position from here to here. Everything else remains the same. So let's try that again from here. Bring that over two frets. Third time, again, just changing the chord, uh, the, uh, this shape over here to five and five on the second and third strings. And going back to the middle shape. That's it. First shape, second one, third one, back to second. And repeat that all over again. Now here, we're not going to come back to the middle shape, we're going to stay over here. So. was one and after that you came back to this shape we're just going to stay over here and we're going to remove the percussion okay so after this what you're going to play is this so as you can see we're just playing second string and third string alternatively like this like that so you can use your first and second second fingers for that First use the bass note and play second string as well and then start the process. So alternate, alternate, alternate. Ultimately you have to stop on that second string. That's where you have to stop. Okay, so there's no particular rule as to how many times you want to do it. It's completely up to you. You just want to stop after a couple of times, you have to stop on the second string. Fifth fret. So that's all that we have to learn for this arrangement because after this we have the ending of the arrangement which as I said right in the very beginning when I started the lesson is same as the intro. Okay so we learned that over there and I'm just going to play that over here and end it the same way. So let's play that. Instead of the only difference is instead of doing this all the time, which we did in the intro, instead of this, which is the background notes that we're playing, remember that? We can, we can just play open on the first string, right? That's that's what I'm doing. That's the one difference that I'm playing. So instead of this, I'm just playing open on the first string. Exact part that we learned 
in the intro. And that would be it. That's how you play the Interstellar movie theme. I hope you like the arrangement. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching the video. And if you learned something, then you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can learn a lot more lessons if you go to my channel. And uh, if you're looking for a playthrough video where I uh, play the entire arrangement with the notes on screen, uh, you can check out my Patreon page. So that is all for today. Thanks for all your support on Patreon and on YouTube. I really appreciate it. I'm going to see you guys next time with another lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.